Hello, today we are going to get to review the Artery Nugget GT, all right? This is pretty much uh, coming out in the market. This is a dual 18650 battery, 200 watts maximum output, balanced charging, almost an inch worth of screen, 8 ml juice capacity, uh, the Artery XP cores, and thank goodness, a type C type of charging so this is what you get out of the box you do get your uh, nugget GT your 0.15 OCC your 0.4 OCC a plastic bag full of spares and a 510 uh, tip right there you do get your USB C cable and of course your your usual stuff the purchase information the battery guide and of course the user manual all right let's put this aside and let's get talk get to talk about the nugget GT by Artery. All right. Off the bat, this thing is freaking huge. It's huge. But you know what? The good thing though, I still like the design and tapering. All right. It has a wide back for more grip, and it has uh, finger slots over here. All right. And of course, you do get your 0.15 OCC. This is rated, uh, this is an XP core rated to about 60 to 80 watts. And the 0.4 XP core, uh, XP, XP core uh, coil, this is rated from 20 to 35 watts. All right. So basic functions, let's turn it on by pressing the, the fire button five times, one, two, three, four, five, there you go, and then you can pretty much, oh, it's locked, so you can pretty much go 80 watts to, from five to 200, okay, it goes round robin, so you go back to five, and you can go back to 200, and then to five, and then, uh, to change the, I mean, just the simple uh, functions and features uh, to change the color of the the screen here. Well, not really the screen, but like uh, those little highlights over there. There you go. You just press the the firing key and the power key right to change the colors. Okay. There's blue and then there's green, and then when you press the fire button, there's actually two LED lights that will fire from the side. You can change that by pressing the power key and, I mean the power key, the fire button and the power key left. There you go, it's green. That's purple. That's red, you know. Uh, there's about five colors to that. All right, so one of the cool features with this one, um, basically, aside from like what you've seen earlier, you can actually, uh, power uh, I mean lock the power key but even though let's say you lock it it will still fire so you just got to be careful with that okay and then there's always there's also a power limit right as you can see earlier we can go up to about 200 watts but if you put on the uh, the the power lock or the power uh, the power limit it will only go up to 80 watts so to to put it on the maximum of 80 watts, you just press the, the fire button three times. One, two, three. There you go. Power limit. Lock. It will just go up to 80. Unlock. It will go up to 200. Okay. So the, for the few options that we have for the, uh, the, the Nugget GT, it's Artery's own branding of a 510 adapter and the RBA. Okay. 510 adapter pretty much uh, it's pretty much a uh, self-explanatory right you just put it on here as you can see and then press there and it's locked in place all right now this is pretty much like a mod now all right so and here is the RBA okay the RBA comes with again uh, this the RBA itself plus a 510 adapter so just in case you do get the 510 adapter for the nugget you can you this this will come with the RBA so just in case you want to 
do your fine tuning from here or if you have an ohmmeter but you can also build your own I and mean, if you're just going to do a, 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 a spaced a coiling or wraps this, this this does give you a full wrap and I would say you can go a maximum of uh, I'll say two millimeters inner okay but of course then yes uh, beautifully a uh, airflow control so pretty much once you build it up on there you just put this back in like so all right and uh, there you go and pretty much once you get the the once you get your your coil and your cotton inside your cotton will actually be sticking out from the side here so the juice that's where it's going to get your the supply of the juice okay all right so uh pretty that's pretty much basic i'll do some builds okay and then we'll do a cloud check we'll just do everything in one video okay we'll just do everything in one video after the cloud check i'll give you uh, a two weeks uh review everything in one video okay so we'll be back we'll do the cloud check and then we'll do the final review all together in one video other than that i'll see you in a bit Hey guys, we're back after two weeks since we have uh, first started reviewing the Nugget GT. Uh, by the way, these three uh, Nugget GTs, this is what the artery guy has been showing to different shops. He's been going to different shops for about a week now or, or something like that. And these are the actual units that he shows to, uh, to different shops. So just in case you want to schedule with him, just just message him so he can actually show you these the the units to you guys. All right. So let's go about how everything went. All right. Let's go. Let's start with the cons. First, there's no airflow control on the body, especially when you use um, let's say the point fours. It would be nice to have like a, a an airflow control on the body on on the body itself, since there's no airflow control on the OCC. Um, one thing that I also noticed uh, I had difficulty with was the uh, the battery door the battery bay. It's hard to see the positive and the negative. It would be nice if they kind of like colored this like you know contrasting color like white, right? Because like unless you put it against something and you get some kind of reflection, then you only know that okay, here's positive, here's negative. Because pretty much as you can see, it's pretty much designed the same, right? Usually the negative will have like a thicker base compared to the positive one. But in this case, in order for them to save space, they actually made the the pins the same. But it would be great if they kind of like colored this one white. And then the uh, LED itself, it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark, especially when you are like under direct sunlight. So pretty much if you want to look at it, you kind of like go this way and you kind of like adjust. Is it a hassle? Not really. All right. And one more thing. Uh, one of the cons for me, there's no uh, fire lock. So even though you locked, even though you say you, you locked the, 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 the power adjustment, you can still fire it so that to me is a little bit of needed consideration for there right and then uh, especially when, when well let's remove first the OCC maybe I might end up burning it all right once you have it on here you really cannot see how much juice you have left all right so most often than not you'll end up looking like this you try to you try to look for the juice level that you have all right 
But other than that, that's about it. I mean, there, there are other ways that you can revert to that. Uh, based on my experience, I usually fill up the level because like once you once you fill it up, you know, you have you have this thing flap down here. It's all right. You just fill it up to here. You're still fine. You still get a lot of puffs out of it. You know, up to there is just fine. No biggie. But one thing uh, good about this as well, though, is that, you know, you one you will you would really know. If you're almost out of juice because the flavor feedback that you get and the heat that you would feel you can tell right away okay mm, this is a little bit warmer now the flavors are getting you know not as good so you kind of like know that you're almost getting to a dry hit but other than that uh, I did not experience any dry hit because of the feedback that my tongue and my mouth was getting when I know the juice is already low all right and then um, let's talk about the positives on this. The charging. I did not use any, right? I did not use any external charger. I maximized the use of the USB-C. It can charge this thing with no problem. Absolutely. I mean, you would see sometimes like the, if these are your two batteries, some of them is like one has more, one has less. But once you get to charge it, it will try to, you know, fill up this one first. And then when it comes to the same level, it will balance charge everything. Awesome. Uh, another good point with this one for me is actually the design. The, even though it is heavy, all right, this is heavy. But given the design, I have no problems just holding it. I did not feel that the, at any point that this one would slip off my hands. Another good point here is the battery. It's the battery case. It's magnets. Yes. No more screwings. My goodness. That's so freaking old school. All right. So there you go. Um, in terms of the power adjustments, yeah. It's very fast, so I can pretty much go to the level that I want at no time, right? There you go. And of course, one of the things that I, I really do appreciate is the, the power limit feature, right? This one. I really like this, so I know if I'm using OCCs and I know I'm using this, then I can pretty much just switch it to prevent any burnouts or, or any um, uh, damage to the coils. But you know what, guys? Always, always, always follow the recommended wattage of your coils. But I still like this because, I mean, it's still a safety feature. You can still lock it. And you, you can lock it and unlock. Oh, sorry. E. One, two, three, four, five. You can still lock it and unlock it. But anyway, all right. Uh, another uh, pros for this one, the 0.4, the 0.4 OCC. I, with the 0.4 OCC, I use the uh, strawberry cheesecake. Very good flavors. I know the flavor of the strawberry cheesecake. And it's just right up there. I would say that would go to about eight eight or nine in terms of the flavor with the 0.4s all right and then especially what's so good about this is the tank capacity eight mils is a lot i mean when i fill when i fill up my my tank up to, up to just here i mean it takes a lot of time before i can even finish one so i always recommend if you're not using it this is for any for okay for any um pots that you use if you're not using it remove it because you want you do you don't want to uh, have any leakage or any of that because of oversaturation all right and then basically the tank capacity is good the the flavor feedback is very good the heat and flavor feedback is very good that will let you know you're almost on an empty tank uh for the uh 0.4 OCCs. I recommend a 4060, like let's say the uh, the strawberry cheesecake. But if you are going up to the 0.15, I recommend a 7030. Uh, I want to thank Dencat for this, actually. 
this is a 70 so 70 70 30 and above for the 0.15 because again, what we're talking about here is the viscosity. The 0.15 coil, as you, as you can see here, I mean, there's, there's the, the, the juice inlets here are huge. So you, there will be a tendency of oversaturation. But with the 7030, it's thick enough so it will not really just like pour in through unlike if you put a 4060. On this one, you probably get a lot of leakage with any coil for that, for that matter. All right? Okay, and if there's a couple of things that uh, some people don't know, all right, this plastic right here, right, there's basically three types of plastics that they use now in vapes, all right. I mentioned this before when I reviewed the, uh, the PAL SE version 2 or the new version. Again, the plastic is PCTG. This is PCTG plastic, all right? PCT, again, PCT pla uh, plastic, it's um, high impact resistant, it's chemi high, high chemical resistance, and it also has very good heat resistance, just like the one that I mentioned from the PAL SE, all right? Uh, basically, again, there's three types. There's polycarbonate, which is the shittiest. There's polyethylenes. And then there's PCTG. I mean, check check with your manufacturer. If they use either of the two, that's shit. Seriously. Sorry for them. Sorry for my French, but that is shit. Always use PCTG. PCTG is the way to go at this point. All right. So overall, build nine out of ten. Functional design, I'll give it about a seven because of you know you cannot lock it. It takes a bit of effort just to know the juice. And the 510 is not included. Artery, you got to include the 510. This is too powerful not to have a 510 included on. Just give it to us, please. And then with flavors, with, uh, with the point fours, yes. I give it about an eight or a nine, seven, eight, nine for the flavors for the point four. But for the point 15, I'd give it about a six or a seven because basically once you go into the point 15s, you're talking about clouds. We're talking, we're not really talking about flavors. Really. We're talking about clouds, cloud chasing and everything like that. But, but other than that, overall, yes, I love this thing <laughs> because for one, it offers me versatility. It offers an RBA. It offers a 510 and it offers me OCC versatility. 10 out of freaking 10. I love this thing. But other than that, we'll see you again on the next review.